Hello Leute, this is Divi Learns. My name is Divi and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about an app that I started to use about a couple weeks ago and I've been using it almost every day at least during the week on my way to work and back and that is the Anki app. So I've got it on my phone here. So it's this one. I don't know if you can really see that with the orange icon. And basically the Anki app is a flashcard app and the way it works is first when I downloaded it, I searched for a deck of cards and the cards that I was looking for was German related and I think the one I found was, uh, it's called like 4,000 German words. And basically it's a deck of 4,000 German words. And every day uh, when I was on my commute to work, so like let's say for an hour going to work and an hour coming back, what I would do is turn on the app. And the good thing is because um, I can download the deck story to my phone, I don't need the internet for the app. So when I'm underground in the subway and I don't have any internet connection, I can still use the app, which I think is perfect. So I download the app or I flip open the app and I get started and basically all I have to do is sort of hit play. And what it does is it starts to show you words and it shows you the words actually in English. So for example, right now it says the word is to characterize. So if you hit flip, it actually tells you the, what that word is in German. So it gives you, it's hard to see, but it gives you the word there and then it gives you it in a sentence. And it also shows you alternate ways of spell that word um, in different cases. So for example, what it looks like in the plural. And so this is pretty awesome. It, uh, and oh, the last part I forgot is at the bottom of it, I can't really see, but there's four options that say um, kind of how you felt that word was. So for example, the first one is fail. So did you completely fail that? You didn't know, you didn't know what it was? Or, you know, was it hard? Was it good or was it easy? So you get to pick the difficulty of that. And basically it keeps track of how you are selecting each of these words and how you're classifying them. And so if you keep saying that they're easy, it may come up a couple times. And then because you keep saying it's easy and you know it, it won't come up again for a while versus some of the words that you fail or you mark as hard. They keep coming back more and more often because it tries to help you better remember them through increased frequency. So basically showing you all the words that you don't know more often and showing you the words that you do know less often, which makes total sense. So how do I use it? So yeah, like I mentioned, I use it on my commute to work and back. And basically I do about 50 to 100 reviews. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's 50 to 100 words a day, but it just means that it's that many reviews because you could have the same word come up multiple times. So I'll do between 50 to 100 on the way to work and then I'll do another 50 to 100 on the way back. It's great because it's very passive. I just kind of flip through it and um, it's actually been very helpful. Now the trick is to be consistent because I know some days I might miss it or especially on the weekends if I don't end up doing it because I don't have that same commute. So I'm out of, um, I'm out of touch with it. Uh, sometimes you'll forget. And then when you get back to it, let's say on a Monday, um, it might take me a little while to get caught up again, but overall it's been really helpful and it's great because I, I'm starting to see so many words that I actually have never seen or never come across before in any of the other tools that I've been using. So it's been great for that. So this is a really, really great tool. Um, and it's helpful because I like to try to expand how I'm learning German right now. So I'm using a different uh, variety of different tools. So right now I think I'm at, I kind of use Babbel for my, um, my main source of acquisition and you can check out my video about Babbel and how I feel about that and what I, you know, how I learn, how I use that so that you can check out that video. And then I also use, um, tandem to find my language buddy who I try to speak with every Sunday. Usually every Sunday we try to get a Skype call in and if not, at least during the week, we message back and forth and I try to message back and forth in German as much as possible. Um, and they do the same thing with family. So I try to, to message back and forth in WhatsApp, uh, doing that. The one thing that I haven't been able to do just yet and I'm still trying to find a way to do it is to read more. Um, but as soon as I get into that, I will probably make another video about that. So this video was just supposed to be about this flashcard app, Anki, I think it's great. It's one of many tools that you probably could be using to learn a language. And the beauty of, of, of flashcard apps is that it's actually not just for learning languages. You can download a deck for anything. It could be science related, it could be math related, music, history, whatever. Um, and it's cool because it's so easy. Once you download the decks, so you just kind of flip through them and that's basically it. So I don't want to ramble too much. I thought this was going to be a really short video, quick and easy to show just again, one of the many different tools that I'm using to learn languages. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, 
comment below and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.